Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a very instructive chess game. This is the game between Mikhail Tal and Bent Larsen that was played in Bled in 1965. Where is Bled? Bled is a town in Slovenia and it is known for the glacial lake Bled, which makes it a major tourist attraction. Let's have a look at the game. In this game, Tal had white pieces and he started with e4. Larsen played c5. Knight to f3, so we have Sicilian defense. d4, pawn takes pawn, knight takes on d4, e6, knight to c3, d6, and this is Scheveningen variation of Sicilian defense. Bishop to e3, knight to f6, f4, bishop to e7, queen to f3, black castled kingside, white castled queenside, queen to c7, knight from d to b5 attacking queen, queen to b8, g4 launching pawn storm on the kingside, a6 attacking knight, knight was played to d4, knight takes knight and bishop takes knight. Now black is launching pawn storm of his own, g5 attacking knight, knight to d7, Bishop to d3 and b4, attacking knight. What would you play in this position if you had white pieces? Would you play knight to e2? Or maybe this crazy looking move? Well, <laughs> Tal played knight to d5. Pawn takes knight, pawn takes pawn. What did Tal achieve? for his sacrifice knight. Let's have a look at this position. Well, bishop is aiming at pawn at h7, but black will solve the problem very easily with f5 pawn push. So what else white has? Well, white is controlling e6 after f5, he'll be controlling e6, he's controlling e5, and after he plays his rook on e1, he'll be controlling e file. Is that enough for sacrifice knight? Let's have a look. Okay, f5 was played, now rook from d to e1, rook to f7, h4, bishop to b7, another surprise, bishop takes pawn, rook takes bishop, rook takes on e7, knight to e5, attacking queen, pawn is pinned, can't take it because if pawn takes, rook takes queen, so Tal played queen to e4, queen to f8, this looks like very good move. Queen is protecting her rook, they are attacking pawn on f4, and where is a rook going? You can see bishop there, is that good to take that bishop? Let's check, if, this wasn't playing in the game, but we'll check this variation, if rook takes bishop, then Rook takes pawn on f4, attacking queen. Queen must stay close to bishop. Check. King to d2. Check. Winning queen. Wow. Okay, so let's go back. So, rook is lost. Looks like it's lost, is it? Tal captured knight. Rook to f4. Queen to e3, rook to f3, queen to e2, black captured rook on e7, tar captured rook on f3, pawn takes pawn attacking bishop, rook to e1, white is going to win pawn on e5, and black is hoping to win pawn on d5. Rook takes pawn, Queen to d6, and it is white to move. In this position, Tal made a very clever move. If you wish, you can pause this video and you can try to find a clever move that Tal played. Are you ready? Have you seen this? Queen to f4. Tal allowed black to capture pawn on d5, and black didn't take it. Let's check what would happen if bishop takes on d5. Then we would have this continuation. 
check and after rook takes queen takes queen okay let's go back after queen to f4 black played rook to f8 attacking queen queen to e4 now b3 pawn takes pawn check king to d2 check c3 and black played queen to d6 to look after her king and i thought if i wanted to attack queen with bishop to c5 i would play b4 but not all he surprised his opponent again sacrificing his bishop okay black captured bishop now rook to e8 check rook to f8 check king to h8 and tal made a move and black resigned if you wish you can pause this video and you can try to find the killer move that tal played in this position are you ready the move is queen to f7 and black resigned he can't take queen because rook is pinned if he takes rook queen takes rook check and this is check mate wow what a brilliant attack that is and let's go back to this position now after you've seen this game would you play knight to e2 or would you dare to play knight to d5 like tal did hmm and that is all i hope that you enjoyed watching this video i wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now